Hello, hello, my nasties. Welcome to my first foray into diamond painting. If you are new to my channel, if this is the first time that you stumbled onto my little freak show on YouTube, hi, hello, welcome. Please have a seat in the front so that we can all judge you accordingly. We are going to do this very tedious exercise in a frustration known as a diamond painting. This is my very first diamond painting in more ways than one. This is of course my artwork. Those of you who have been with me for a while recognize this illustration. This was an illustration which I turned into a print. I'm currently sold out of the print. I'm sorry, it will be returning. It's simply going to take a little while. My supplier is having issues, uh, my print shop. But the prints will be back eventually. For now, if you would like to purchase the diamond painting, it is available via Diamond Art Club only. I do not sell this in my Etsy shop or through my website. It is exclusively Diamond Art Club. I will have the link down below for those of you who are experienced, shall we say, with diamond painting. You probably already know Diamond Art Club and you know the drill. Go to their website, shop, do all of those fantastical things. Now, <laughs> let's get this started. So I have never, as I mentioned, done a diamond painting. Never in my life. This is my, you know what? And here I am being brave and starting with multiples. Oh, that was easy though. That was that was pretty painless. So what I'm going to do for this series is sit down, if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I do color and chats. So we're going to do a little diamond painting and chat. What, I don't like that word or that phrase, that title, diamond painting and chat diamond chat I don't know we'll have to come up with something if you think of something clever do leave it down below please my lovely nasties okay what is happening here I'm trying to get these sparkly bits as straight as possible <laughs> already losing my train of thought here this is my first one. This is my first one ever. So that is, <laughs> it's my first piece of art that has been made into a diamond painting and it's also my first diamond painting. So you're gonna have to bear with me here until I get accustomed to this voodoo that is happening in front of me with this glue and this stick and these sparkly bits. Your girl has never done this before. You know what, I'm gonna practice going in one by one because, oh, disaster. All right, that was a bad idea. I feel like I do better with the multi-placer, right? They don't have to be perfectly placed, right? I mean, close enough. Yeah, if you came to this channel hoping to have a relaxing diamond painting session, Run for the hills, run for the hills now, because that is not my vibe. I'm not the most relaxing person on the planet. I am a workaholic with a freakish reserve of energy. So this is not, you know, diamond painting for relaxation. No, ma'am. But that being said, if you are a manic fiend such as myself you might get a kick out of watching me suffer so the plan for these videos is to work on the painting for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour similar to my color and chat videos i try to keep most of my art videos between 20 minutes to 45 minutes uh, they tend to be about an hour at the longest so it's just going to be a weekly one hour session of this lunacy. <laughs> I'll just be chit chatting about my struggles <laughs> with this diamond painting and we'll just be chatting about life. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will be happy to answer them in the next diamond painting video. 
If you found your way to my channel uh, through my artwork and you don't care about diamond painting, don't worry, do not worry. This is not going to overtake my channel. As I said, I will only be working on diamond paintings that I create, that are my artwork, I should say, and they will not ever take up the bulk of my content on my channel, I promise you. This is just a for funsies little adventure into something new. Because I'm excited. It may not sound like it because I am typically not one to emote my excitement externally too well. I could be the most excited person in the room, but you would never know by looking at me. You'd probably assume that I'm the most miserable and bored. It's just not true. I'm just not a, um, I'm not an overly expressive person externally anyway, because I could definitely be an internal squealer. That is for damn sure. I'm digging this multi, multi placer thingamabob. <laughs> she says as she makes a mess. That's what the tweezers are for, yeah? Oh, you know, the tweezers are probably for straightening things out. See, here's the thing, here comes my fastidiousness. If you've seen my artwork, you know that my artwork is very messy and if you see i mean messy with intention and if you watch my channel you know that i encourage people to be messy i mean this the illustration that this diamond painting is a perfect example it is very sketchy super stylized it's just the style that i work in i'm going to take a moment to plug my website and my social media so you can go follow me over there i would greatly appreciate it Follow me on Instagram. And by the way, if you have a Twitter, I have a Twitter as well, but I rarely use it because I'm not sure my audience really cares about a Twitter. But follow me on Twitter, and when I have, I don't know, 100 Twitter followers, I will begin tweeting on the Twitter. But uh, what was I saying? I was speaking about messiness and expressiveness okay so my artwork messy expressive and this right here is a bit of an exercise in precision no at least it appears to be i'm sure that some people are not as uh, precious about their diamond painting but when i see little squares and little little boxes i'm going to want to fill them in fairly neatly. I'm not going to crack my skull open over this because I don't want this to take an exorbitant amount of time to complete. But I also don't want it to be sloppier than it needs to be. From what I understand, this diamond painting situation, there are two styles of sparkly bits. And if anybody is annoyed by my calling them sparkly bits and not the technical, Carla, they're called drills. You know what? This is my channel. I'm allowed to say what I want. And the word drill annoys me because that's what a power tool does. Well, that is a power tool. I just drill. It's just not, it doesn't sound sparkly and cute, okay? This is supposed to be sparkly and cute, and calling them drills is just, ugh. And you know what it also reminds me of? Ew. Junior high and high school physical education. We're gonna do drills now. I'm like, no, bitch, I don't move. Look at my nails. Do you think I engage in any strenuous activity that does not involve a dance floor? No, sorry about it, I don't. So, they are going to be referred to as rhinestones or sparkly bits, okay? And what I am going to do, you can't hear it, 
you cannot hear it, but in the other room, I have a kitchen timer going so that I don't go over my allotted time. I'm setting the timer for about 45, well, I'm setting it for an hour, but I just don't want to go over that amount of time. So again, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, but once we get to the ding, we are going to stop for the day. How long, or rather how many I can complete in that time, we'll find out. Or rather how large of a section I can complete in that time is uh, yet to be determined. But so far so good, so far so good. I am not going to go beyond this point here. So if I can fill in this triangle in an hour, I will consider this episode a success. Now, will I ever do some off camera? Probably, but for now, I think we are all right on time. I have to put in a little disclaimer if this video looks darker than usual. First of all, if you know, I don't have an iPhone. I don't have a fancy, fancy phone. It's an Android, but it's older. I am a curmudgeon and I use my cell phones until they are literally on their last leg because I am not one to spend my money on technology. I'm just not a technical person. I am a 9,000 year old vampire who does not necessarily need technology, but I do recognize that it is a bit of a detriment to my channel and that the people watching me have to be subjected to my curmudgeonly ways. I mean, you guys, if you are new here, I do not even own a television. True story, do I have computers? Yes, do I have a high-end computer? Yes, I am a graphic designer and artist, so I need a Macintosh computer. So I do have a fancy computer, but not a fancy phone, no TV, none of that stuff. So all of that to say, my lighting in here is dark because I'm not sitting at my computer, or rather, I'm not sitting at my art table where I have my daylight lamp. I am situated on my coffee table in the living room. So I, I'm working with what I got here. Not a great phone, and it is late into the night. It is about 9 o'clock. Well, not late. It's 9, but it's late, so... It's dark in here, but this is the only time that I can work on this because I, if you do not know, live in the desert. And Palm Springs, California specifically. June, in the desert, to put it as lightly and mildly as I can, June in the desert is a bitch. It is well over 100 degrees during the day and I need to turn the air conditioner on. So of course if I turn the air conditioner on while I'm trying to do this you are going to get a lot of external noise. So that is why and I, I'm sorry if this conversation is boring but I have to say it you all. For those of you who've been here you know the drill summertime I only work at night when I'm filming you guys know that you know. But the new people because as much as I hate sounding like a broken record with technicalities there's always those people, you know, who don't bother to research or rather to watch a couple of my videos and know, Carla, there, I'm going to get that person. I already know. Even saying this, I'm going to get that Karen who comes to my channel and says, I really wanted to watch your video, but like, it's too dark. Can you please film in the daytime? It's like, bitch. Don't you think if I could film in the daytime, I would? I'm not trying to make you guys suffer unnecessarily. Come on, you guys know I love my nasties, but cut me some slack here. I don't wanna burn. I don't wanna burn. Excuse me while I take a sip. Iced tea. Iced tea in my little tiki mug. Did you see my flamingo? I just purchased these drink stirrers and I'm obsessed. From what I understand about this diamond painting, the did I already talk about this? I don't know, but I'm gonna talk about it now. They come in round and 
square rhinestones why why would round somebody answer the question for me down below if you have an answer for me but why would round be preferable if the grids are square would the round not leave gaps at the points of connectivity where they touch there would be it's like putting a when you put a checker on a checkerboard right you have that extra space around the circle why would that be preferable is it because you are not under the pressure of aligning the square into the little grid is that it that seems rather odd to me personal preference I suppose but I feel like the gaps around the squares would bug me. Now having said that, people probably think that my method of uh, working on diamond painting is irritating because as you can see, I'm not really worried too much about everything being perfect because you guys, <laughs> As I preach and preach and preach and preach and preach with my coloring books, when something stops being fun, there's no point in doing it. And I'm not going to enjoy this at all if it's going to become an exercise in chasing perfection. It's boring. So if you can't watch this, ugh, this uncivilized heathen with her lackluster application. Oh, baby, bye. Bye-bye. How long have I been working on this at this point? I don't know. So now we know what I'm going to be doing all summer, <laughs> working on this damn diamond painting. Uh, is hoping that I get this completed by Halloween a bit ambitious? Ooh, there's a question for you. For those of you who are diamond painter enthusiasts or diamond painting enthusiasts, how long does it typically take you to complete a diamond painting of this size because I have to admit if you watched my introduction to this or if you watched my Instagram reel that I posted a while back I was taken aback by the size of the thing when I actually unboxed and unrolled it I nearly had a coronary because I was not expecting it to be as large as it was but I would like to have this done in time for Halloween. So is that very slow of me? Several months, is that standard? You'll have to educate me y'all because I have no idea. But hey, if you guys are bored, if you guys are feeling a bit Anti-social, if you're feeling a bit lonely, you want to hang out with me, get yourself a diamond painting. Doesn't have to be this one. Doesn't have to be this one. Doesn't have to be this one. Does not have to be. Listen to the Karen in the back with selective hearing. Not, does not have to be my diamond painting. I'm just saying, get one and work with me this summer. Join me. Am I going to film this once a week? I think I'm going to film this once a week. Maybe if, if. It seems as though this is taking longer than I want it to, then perhaps I will post more frequent videos, but for now I'm thinking once a week. So anyway, grab yourself a diamond painting and join me once a week for our little diamond painting hour. Grab yourself a drink and let's hang out. I can't say grab yourself a drink and a snack because I don't think you can really snack while you're doing this, right? Too messy, too messy.
even though I am going to be working on this for about an hour each stretch, I am going to be editing out dead air. So if the video ends up being shorter and some people are like, oh, why is this video only 39.2 minutes? I thought you said it was going to be 45 minutes to an hour. It's because the dead air. That's why. It's interesting what certain people find relaxing. This is not relaxing to me at all. Is it boring? No. Entertaining? Yeah, sure, it's amusing. But I certainly, by no stretch of the imagination, would refer to this as uh, relaxing. And that is, of course, it can be explained by my, my style, my illustration and painting style, which is much more free-flowing and loose. You know, the reason that I work that way is because life is so damn rigid. Adulting, we've got rules, we've got things we gotta do, and just life is boring and structured, and I am not, and by exten extension, neither is my artwork. And this is rigid and structured and ugh. That probably, that's not a fair sound to make because as I said, it's not boring. I do enjoy it, but I enjoy it in the way I enjoy a puzzle. It's not relaxing to me. It's challenging. That's what it is. It's fun because it's challenging to me. This is not relaxing though. And there are some people who swear that this is one of the most relaxing things they've ever done, right? Let me know where you stand on it. Is this relaxing to you? Like, oh, ah, brrr. Or what was that? That was like a bird cat hybrid. Uh, <laughs> like a bird. Let me know what camp you are in. Are you, this is fun because it's a challenge, a challenge, or this is fun because it relaxes me. I'm curious, 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 curious. I'm already making a mess over here. Ooh, look at the sparkle. I love gloss white. I know by, by looking at me, you wouldn't know, but you know, spooky lady that I am. But I'm not an all black everything kind of a spook. Oh, I my wardrobe is very heavy on the black, but uh, I prefer gloss white when it comes to furniture and things because I enjoy colored lighting and at nighttime my apartment becomes this bizarro 1980s neon playland because I have pink lighting, pink neon light everywhere. So when I turn out the lights because I have so many glossy white accents they reflect the light very well. So I'm essentially living in a neon pink playground in here at night. I love glossy white. I love it, love it. And these are glossy white. And that's why I bring it up. Because you know when this is done? I don't know, you guys. I'm considering replacing Ms. Michael up there on my wall. We've got Queen Michael Jackson up on my wall. If you are new to my channel, take a look at some of my thumbnails or some of my images on Instagram. You'll see him in the background. He's on my wall in my apartment and it's quite large. It's the Andy Warhol Michael Jackson cover. I don't know. It was on some magazine. I don't know if it was time or people or something but it's that Andy Warhol piece it's on the not the original relax don't come stalk me and try to rob me you think I can afford an Andy Warhol please your girl cannot afford that nor do I have a sugar daddy or sugar mama who can afford it for me if you know someone I'm accepting applications you think I'm joking you think I'm joking I'm not but uh that being said 
I believe this might be the same size, if not very similar. So I don't know, Michael might have to be replaced or at least rotated. She might have to live on the wall because this is going to feel like quite an accomplishment for me when it's done. I have no clue where else I could possibly put this in my apartment. I live in a one bedroom apartment, very tiny, so I'm rather limited on wall space. And I don't like to put too much on my walls because as I told you, I like my apartment to bounce light, my pink light at night. So the more wall space, the more empty wall space I have, the more pink my apartment is at night. How long have I been working on this at this point? I don't know. I'm tempted to go look at my timer, but let's let's not let's not break the momentum here. We're doing pretty good. I'm going to finish the white, all of the white that's in this tray. Even if I have to finish it off camera, I will do all the white on here because next time I want to play with some of this color. God, what a mess that was. Let me know down below if you are a diamond painter, what the largest canvas is that you've completed. Because this one's huge. I want to say it's 21 by 31. Something close to that. And I'm actually... Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm working quickly, but I'm surprised actually at how, um, not quick, but how semi-swiftly the application is going. I went into this assuming that it was going to be a struggle bus for the first few hours, but no, I mean, it's, it's pretty painless, pretty self-explanatory. It's just color by number. It's not too bad. And I suppose that is likely a testament to the quality of the kit and the tools because uh, it's going pretty well. Oh, the weather's so nice right now though. It has cooled down significantly. And I really want to go out for a night walk. It's my favorite thing to do during the summer. Late night walks in the desert. Did I mention? If you are not aware, I live in Palm Springs. I think I mentioned it. But it's a cool town and when it's nice and cool during the summer, it's just a cool town with cool weather. Mm. So fun. I love this thing. Love this thing. I love it. Freaking love it. Another question for you. How many people don't use this? How many people would prefer to put them on one by one? Because there's got to be someone out there. There's got to be someone out there who either just simply does not like it or they do not have the dexterity to use it. There's gotta, there's gotta be someone out there who's a one by one person. I will never be that girl. <laughs> do a bit more. I said I was going to finish this tray, but how about this entire section? I'll tell you what. I'm going to finish this entire tray and then whenever that little buzzer goes off, I'm going to stop, but I'm going to continue until I work on this section. Is that okay? 
is that all right? Is that all right with you all? This multi-placer is without question mankind's greatest achievement. So kudos for this one, humans. It's pretty cool. I really want to play with the purple. I don't remember if the grays were the Aurora crystals. The old, the, uh, what are they called? AB? Aurora Borealis. Is that what the AB stands for? Does that mean Aurora Borealis or am I crazy? I'm not a crafter. I'm not a crafter. I'm not a beater. Be beater? I don't know. I don't know the, uh, the jargon for such things, but I would assume that's what it's for. I don't know, correct me in the comments. Someone's gonna, someone always does. <laughs> but no, but this time I'm asking for the correction. I'm not trying to sass those who want to educate, who are politely educating. You, you know what I'm talking about. There are the people who, who educate for the sake of just being, you know, polite education. And then there are the self-righteous people who just have to chime in. The Poindexters, actually, it means this, 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 and this. It's like, no, relax. Don't get your panties in a twist. This is a nice crafting video. Nice, wholesome family entertainment. <laughs> sure, I mean, if you're the Adams family, by all means, watch my channel. But, uh, oh, I should also mention that if you are new to my channel, I'm not a vulgar creature. Neither vulgar nor am I necessarily exceedingly crass, but wholesome family entertainment, I certainly am not. So keep that in mind. If you don't like it, shove it and leave. But if you do... You know I love you. You know I love you. So many questions that I'm asking you in this video, but I am, this is so new to me that I am just eager to learn. How long can you guys sit here and do this? Like how long is one session for you on average? I'm not talking variables, I'm not talking well, if I'm doing, if I'm running late for this, or oh, if it's a Wednesday, I do this, if it's a Thursday. On average, uh, what are your sessions like in terms of length? One hour, two hours, four hours, six hours? Let me know. I will certainly never extend a session until I run out of steam. That defeats the purpose of this being fun. It's like I preach in my coloring books. If you start to overthink something to the point of it becoming stressful, stop, you're doing it wrong. If you are unaware, I am a coloring book creator. Go buy my books. Digital downloads available in my Etsy shop or physical copies are available on Amazon. Shameless plug, no. Well, wait, shameless? Yes, it is shameless. But a plug should never be shameful, right? Don't apologize for your plugs. If you've got a channel, if you've got art, don't, don't apologize for advertising it. 
Don't, don't. Be proud of what you're doing. When people say, oh, shameless plug, go follow me on Insta, go follow me on YouTube or Twitch or whatever the hell. Why? Be proud of what you're doing. You want people to follow you, right? I want you guys to follow me. I might be a bit of a antisocial workaholic in person, but this is my work. I love being a workaholic, ergo, I enjoy when people interact with me and chit chat with me about it. It's fun. So that said, go follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel, do all of those things. From what I understand, even just liking a video makes a tremendous difference on the visibility of my channel. So yeah, I'm going to ask you, like it, leave me a comment if you'd like, you don't have to, but at the very least, please throw a like on this video. You know you love your favorite desert vampire, you know you love me, you know you love me. So like it. I think we need to have another little dip in the wax. I feel as though I keep extending this triangle. Okay, 414, that is where we're going to stop right around there but let's see about dipping that wax mm, baby let me dip that wax for you just like this right yep guess oh wait do we need to clean it out each time we do that maybe yikes well how much wax am i going to go through in this process seems like quite a bit Maybe I'm uh, using too much. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this wax last a bit longer. I won't be so quick to uh, refill it next time. Okay. These tweezers are amazing. Bummed we're not going to see the purple today. At least that's what it's feeling like at this point. Because when that buzzer buzzes, I'm definitely done for the day. I'm not going to sit here for six hours and do this. As I said, I wanted to go on my night walk, get some fresh air. And this hasn't been the most entertaining video. Let's keep it real. It's been a bunch of bunch of white specks. But it is a new experience for me. This is I don't know, I feel as though I'm exploring an alien planet here today with this. Never, never in my wildest of nightmares did I think that I would be exploring this bizarro diamond painting world. And I have all of you to thank for it. Truly, from the bottom, the absolute pit of my little black heart. Sparkly little black heart of mine. I extend a thank you to everyone who ever inquired about my creating a diamond painting because prior to people asking me, hey Carla, do you have a diamond painting? Do you do diamond painting? Any of that? I would have never explored looking into diamond painting companies and I would have never have entertained the thought of agreeing to license my work with Diamond Art Club. So, this was this was all you. This was all you, baby. It was all you. Did you hear my buzzer? All right. It is time to go. What a perfect time to spot. 
to spot, to stop. So thank you all, right now that I'm gushing over you all, thank you for joining me for this little installment of our diamond painting chit chatty sessions. There will of course be more. There will be a plethora of videos. So thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed it, again, hit that like, subscribe, leave me a comment, answer any of the million questions that I asked you in this video down below. Links to my website, to my social media, to my Patreon, all of that good stuff will be down below. Next video will likely be, uh, actually before I say, I'm not sure. Is it going to be a coloring video or an illustration video or a vlog? I don't know, things are getting a little complicated around here now because I have vlogs, I have coloring videos, and I have illustration videos. I typically had those three videos and now we got diamond painting thrown in the mix. So, who knows? Who knows what the next video will be? If you are here exclusively for diamond painting, well, you don't have to watch whatever does not interest you, but I promise you another diamond painting video will be coming in a week, if not sooner. So thank you everyone once again. Take a look down below. Everything you need to know will always be down below. With all of that, it is time for me to go. So off I go. To you I say be bad, be good. I don't really give a damn which. Just make sure that you come back in one piece. At least try to come back in one piece. All right, that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much once again, and I will catch you in the next one.